Hi everybody, uh, I'm John Weld and welcome to another episode of IR Customer Service TV. We just uh, uh, recently released our brand new RAND skirt. Uh, this is the Lucky Charm. This is a RAND style skirt that's meant to replace our uh, Tough Skin RAND skirt. And we've got a lot of questions about fit, how to properly fit this skirt to, uh, to a uh, kayak. So I thought I'd take the opportunity to make a quick video to show you uh, how the fit would work with this style skirt. Before we get started though, let me take a, just a moment to explain the differences uh, between the, the two main ways of making a spray skirt. Um, and that would be either the bungee style spray skirt or ran style spray skirt. Let's start with the, the bungee skirt here. It's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It's a shock cord, a bungee or a shock cord sewn right onto uh, the neoprene here. Uh, and really what you have inside of this shock cord traditionally is latex rubber. Um, and the latex rubber, while it's uh, susceptible to UV and ozone damage, um, is protected by this outside sheet. Now, the great thing about latex is that it has, has fantastic stretch and, and rebound. Um, just like a latex neck or a latex wrist, nothing in this world quite stretches the way latex does. Uh, and as a result, these skirts tend to fit a much wider range of boats. Uh, you know, you'll be able to fit, you know, be able to jump almost a cockpit size up. You know, with a, with a bungee skirt, it'll still fit pretty, you know, pretty well. Um, the downside to a, a bungee skirt typically is that they can sometimes be a little more uh, uh, prone to implosion. Um, you know, the same the same stretchiness that lets you stretch it out also doesn't have the same centripetal, centripetal force to keep the skirt tucked into the rim as well as maybe a Rand style skirt. Which brings us to the second style skirt, which is uh, uh, the Rand. Um, spray skirt. Now the rand is basically an extruded piece of rubber. It's a big chunk of rubber that's extruded out and we glue that onto the neoprene here. Uh, the rubber in this case is exposed to um, the sun and ozone and just the way that, that these compounds work, the rubber necessary um, to the, the rubber used to withstand that kind of exposure to the sun isn't as stretchy as latex. Uh, subsequently you just don't get the same kind of uh, rebound out of it and fit becomes a much more difficult issue with this style of skirt. Uh, this will fit a very small range of boats and so when picking a ran style skirt you really do need to pay close attention to um, the measurements of your cockpit rim when, when picking one out. The reason why people like these ran style skirts is that they tend to make, that big chunk of rubber there, tends to make a really really good tight uh, physical bond with the rim. Um, it tends to clunk, sort of like clunks under that rim there and anytime it's challenged, that big block of rubber here tends to hold underneath the rim and stop as it reaches the edge of the rim. Bungee skirts don't really have that same, that same uh, grip to them. Um, and so if you're running class 5 wet water, you're creek boating, you're really worried about the skirt imploding, uh, oftentimes a ran skirt is a particularly good choice. Uh, also, uh, there are times also when the particular shape of a cockpit rim, um, you know, a ran is much, much drier. Anyway, having said that, let's go ahead and start looking at the different size rims that, uh, that are out there and what size cockpit skirt will fit them. The first size we're going to talk about is the large cockpit. Uh, the large cockpit is the smallest size cockpit that we make for our RAN style skirts. The reason for that is, is uh, RAN, RAN style skirts typically are whitewater skirts, um, specifically plastic boat whitewater skirts. You don't really need a RAN style skirt in the, in the performance that it has in a sea kayak, for instance. Uh, and by and large, nowadays, the smallest rim you can find in a whitewater boat is what they call a large cockpit. Um, what is a large cockpit? I would call this Liquid Logic Cafe the model large cockpit. This rim is very, very similar to rims that you see uh, in whitewater boats, plastic whitewater boats going back into the, even into the mid-90s. Things like the, the RPM and the Crossfire, uh, just to name a couple, couple uh, designs out there. But basically, this rim is about 32, 33 inches long. It's about 18 to 19 inches wide. One of the big features of this classic large cockpit rim is this, its egg shape. It's very, it's, it's sort of slender up here towards the front and pointy. And uh, as it gets back, it winds out a little bit here and comes back around. That's an important distinction because this rim has a circumference of about 85 inches. As we're going to find out here, that's a very important measurement, especially when it comes to talking about ran skirts. Uh, for instance, look at this Wayport ZG. Now, the length and width of this rim is very, very similar. This is about 33 inches by 19 inches, almost identical to the Liquid Logic rim, but it's much wider up here at the front. And subsequently, <clears throat> the circumference of this rim 
is around 89 inches. It's about four or five inches bigger than this boat right here. It doesn't sound like a lot. We were talking about the elasticity that ran. It, isn't quite, it actually is quite a big deal. And really, that measurement is going to put this boat almost into the extra large area. You're, you're starting to transition, transition to the extra large uh, size rim at, at this point. So the first thing we're talking really, the point I'm trying to make here is that <clears throat> when you're fitting your RAN skirt, it's, it's important to measure not only the length and width, but have an idea of the circumference of the rim as well. Um, that'll help really get you the right skirt the first time. Next up, of course, is the extra large cockpit. The extra large cockpit more and more is becoming uh, probably the most popular rim shape out there. If you were to go to a local retailer and, and measure um, you know, the most contemporary whitewater kayaks out there, I think you'd find most are starting to fall in this extra large cockpit uh, size. Particularly we start considering boats like the Jackson All here, which is a very, very popular boat. Uh, this rim right here is about 34 inches uh, long, but it's 20 inches wide, with a very, very wide rim, which makes the circumference on this boat about 90 inches. Uh, similarly, um, this Piranha Bird, which is very uh, typical of a Piranha boat, has a 91 inch circumference rim, also an extra large. However, it is a very different shape. It's about 37 inches long by about 19 inches wide. It's very, it's very narrow and very long. Now, while the width <clears throat> is more similar to a large cockpit, it's so long, the circumference really puts it squarely to the extra large category. And finally, of course, we have the double X. This is the Jackson Super Fun. Uh, and the measurements on this room is about 37 and a half inches by 22. This is probably the largest rim you can find on a whitewater boat. Uh, and in fact, at least for whitewater boats, um, Jacksons are pretty much the only boats getting into that area. Uh, the circumference on this rim is 98 inches. It's quite large. The only other boat you'd find that's somewhat even close to a whitewater boat that has the same size rim as this is maybe the Remix XP10 and XP9. Those two boats have a, have a 97, 98 inch circumference as well. So uh, when you're looking at a boat this size, you're, 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 you're certainly looking at a double X rim. One thing to consider about a double X rim is that it's so long that you start to get uh, this section of the rim um, starts to get uh, what we call a straightaway here, starts to get so long that really a RAN skirt, even though you may not need the performance, you know, the, the performance of a RAN skirt, maybe you're not a class 5 paddler, a RAN skirt may be a good choice simply because with such a long straightaway, bungees, which really rely on centripetal force to keep the skirt on, have a very hard time with that. Um, you know, the perfect cockpit rim for a, for a bungee is a perfect circle that has force pulling it from all sides. Uh, this is clearly with this, this straightaway here is not a perfect circle. Um, a RAN, you know, because of the, the chunky piece of rubber, is going to make sort of a physical uh, seal here that is not necessarily relying on tension pulling it to keep that skirt in there. So a skirt this size, you may want to think about getting a, a RAN skirt um, even though, like I said, you may not need the, the you know, to be running the class five whitewater that typical, you know, Ranskirt users run. Okay, in conclusion, we have three sizes, large, extra large, XXL. The, the ideal circumference for a large cockpit rim, 85 inches. The ideal circumference for an extra large rim, 90 inches. The ideal circumference for an XXL rim, let's say 97, 98 inches. Now, occasionally, you're going to get boats like the Wastewater ZG we looked at earlier. They're going to fall squarely between those two. Uh, you know, it's not a large and not an extra large. Maybe it's two inches difference either way. Uh, in, that, in that case, you're going to have to make a choice whether you want a little bit tighter fitting skirt or a little bit looser fitting skirt that's easier to get on. Um, and you can always call us and ask us if you need some, some extra help there with that, with that question. Um, sometimes we know the personality of a rim and might be able to offer some insight there. Uh, as always, uh, feel free to write or call uh, if you have any questions. And until next time, uh, thank you.